more contact going forward. It's been a lot of strikeouts recently for him. He needs to rediscover his stroke at the plate. Sean Casey joins me today. Case, how does a guy bounce back when he's fanning at this rate? Well, you know, when I'm watching this guy swing, he looks a little lost. And I think the biggest thing about when you're striking out a lot, it's more of a mental thing, right? And so what happens is um, you, you, anxiety comes in because you're striking out and you're like, okay, I'm going to try harder. And when you try harder, when you try harder in baseball, you go backwards. And what happens is when you try harder and you get that anxiety, it, 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 it turns your vision off. It's crazy. It turns your vision off. When you get relaxed and slow down, it turns your vision on, right? You want to be able to see the ball late. And what happens when you're striking out, like this guy's doing a lot right now, is that you're making decisions earlier. The ball's at 54 feet and you're swinging, right? The ball's, you, you haven't really seen the ball in those last four or five feet. That's where great hitters work. So when you're striking out a lot, that's what happens. You lose the ball too early and make decisions too early. So for me, as a hitter, I would tell this guy, hey, listen, let's take some deep breath. Let's slow down. Tonight, let's take a couple first pitch pitches and so that we can really see the ball. And, and I always said, when you're striking out, that means you're going to get the ball. Tonight, let's get jammed. Let's let the ball jam us so that we know we're seeing it late. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Santos. All set for the start of the inning and next it'll be the outfielder Alan Santos and he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate it's ball one. Grounded down the third baseline. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. Digging in will be Gabriel Cancel. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Santos is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Now to the plate, Alan Santos. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Alan Santos. And now the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. Hey, this guy's so aggressive, I don't think this pitch is anywhere near the zone. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, and he just picked him apart in that at bat as he's gone. Stepping in once again is Travis Jones. He singled first time up. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Santos is there. Two gone. Digging in next, Alan Santos struck out in his last trip to the plate. Now a splitter starts things off with a called strike one. On the ground to the right side. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Make it six shutout innings as he... So now here is Alan Santos. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. To short. He's right there. Throw on to first, two gone.
hey, congratulations to them. It's official now. As first half champions, they've stamped their ticket to the minor league postseason. Well done. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Northwest Arkansas Naturals came through in it.